and we'll save the changes to our script. When we reuse statements, we have the choice of keeping them linked back to the source or making them static. When they are linked, changes can be automatically propagated to all the scripts that use them. This cuts down on test maintenance tremendously. Let's see how this works. We'll make a small change to a reporting point, so we'll now read, did the bid complete successfully? We'll save the changes, and then go back to the other script and see if the changes were propagated. which they did. Now let's run our bid on flower script. The manual tester minimizes and the script control view is displayed. The control view is to show the tester the steps in the script along with the reporting results. As you can see, the control view has transparency. This is because it will be sharing the screen with the application. You can control the size, placement, and transparency of the view as desired. The auction application has already started, so we'll take advantage of this and use the Apply button to indicate the completion of the step. By the way, this is probably bad testing practice. As we go through the steps, we'll often be repositioning our script control view. Having a large high resolution display helps too. We'll reposition our test bar so we can see things more clearly. And now we use the automated data entry capabilities. We simply place our cursor in the input field and press Control V. The data is then pasted into the field. And do the same process for password. We've completed the steps up to the point where we want to test the functionality. Now we need to do some verification. You will note that the Apply button now has the drop-down menu enabled. This is what we'll use to indicate a pass, failure, error, or indeterminacy of the verification point. Here we need to verify the login name. It's correct, so we select Pass and apply the step. We do the same for the bid verification. Now we use the automated data verification feature. We need to verify that the item description is correct for what we bid on. Like the automated data entry feature, we'll use the clipboard. We select the text with our mouse. It 
Hit Control C to add it to the clipboard. And then use the Compare icon to compare the results with what was expected. Our panel comes up with a side-by-side -side comparison of the expected and the actual, and they don't match. This is a somewhat contrived example, but you can see how easy it would be to miss this kind of difference. We'll mark this as a fail so someone can go look into the problem. And we go on to the next verification point. It looks fine, so it passes. We're at the final step, our reporting point. Even though there was an error, in our opinion as a tester, we think that the test did complete successfully overall, so we'll pass it and we commit the results of our test. This concludes our demonstration of the Rational Manual Tester. In it, we saw how existing manual test scripts could be imported into the tool and then easily edited. We saw how we could capture commonly used steps from a script and reuse them in other scripts, keeping them linked so that changes propagated to all scripts. And we saw how automated data entry and comparison could cut down on human error. In our next demonstration, we'll take the script created with the functional tester and merge it into a larger test suite and then execute that test suite.